Hi everyone, here's Matthias and Sebastian with the Trade More Live show. Yeah, hello everyone. How are you doing, Matthias? Um, not so bad. So yeah, everything goes pretty good. Sort of, and yeah, we will see um, a lot of action in the markets uh, over the weekend. And yeah, we missed some shows in the past days. So sorry for that. But yeah, we will continue for you, of course. Okay. What do we have on the menu today, Matthias? Uh, yeah, we, on, the, on the agenda, we have some news about uh, cryptocurrencies. So North Korea made some trouble. Let's dive into and that right away. Let's start with okay. that. So yeah. um, let me show you this chart here. Um, this is Bitcoin Cash, and there you see this has been a you know, longer downtrend um, over the last couple of days. Um, let's let's go into the daily chart. So um, Bitcoin Cash in a downtrend actually since yeah you know, for for the last. It dies under the four thousand. No, no, Bitcoin Cash. That has uh, it's not oh, okay, Bitcoin, okay. but the the old version of Bitcoin. But uh, yeah, mm -hmm. here, let's look at the real Bitcoin. Um, I'll also here go to the daily chart. By the way, here this software, this is um, one of our partner brokers, Exante. And um, you can see the, the link um, in case you're interested here further down. Exante.eu slash p slash 5082. And um, yeah, what, what do we see here? This is the, the, Bitcoin, the Bitcoin chart. Um, we've just been playing around here with the with our account. Um, it's now uh, positive here, but um, yeah, these trades uh, they're they're just for fun. Um, yeah, you can see that we've had a, a break of the upward trend now, um, and we we are really in the downtrend now um, on, yeah. on Bitcoin. And why is that? that the new what's, low. what's going on? Uh, yeah, the rumors in the market said that uh, North Korea um, attacks uh, bitcoins um, to yeah to avoid the, the sanctions, uh, which to the UN the sanctions uh, they're they're cracking down on bitcoin accounts and and selling them off. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's the point. Uh, so they are thieves. Or <laughs> so they're, they're stealing Bitcoin accounts of normal people and uh, selling the Bitcoins and transferring in them to, to their own accounts. Yeah. Yeah? And though in, in this way they collect uh, currencies uh, for an exchange. Mm -hmm. Okay. So beware. But these are accounts. rumors. Okay. That's it's the, not one. That's the rumors. Sure. Maybe it's propaganda. Maybe it's real. But um, mm -hmm. in any case, Bitcoin is below 4,000 uh, from being almost at 5,000. And mm. um, yeah, I mean that is a twenty percent decline. And More the, the next big support is around uh, thirty six hundred. Yeah, and that's um, that will be interesting to observe. Uh, but much more extreme, um, Ethereum here, which you can see has been in the downtrend since we, since the announcement of the crackdown of the Chinese authorities on ICOs that we talked about in our previous show. And mm -hmm. um, that's when it fell from 400 into the 300s again and down to 300 even. And now we fell below this important support at 300. And right now it's having some support here. But yeah, this is, uh, it has filled the gap from um, August. But uh, this, this, looks, this looks dangerous. Yeah. yeah. And it has also to do with the North Korean because the South Korean um, are trading a lot of ether. So uh, they feel attacked too, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Um, then we we also had an interesting development in the euro dollar. There yeah. We can uh, see, yeah, really a tough downward pressure over the last couple of days. What's going on here? Mm -hmm. uh, Monday Just or maybe it was just it was yesterday. Know. Yeah, we we're calling Ulf um, and Matthias Ulf internally. <laughs> yes, so many Matthias in the team. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Um, on, on Monday, maybe it was yesterday and Tuesday, 
Um, I released the news about Eurodollar uh, on TradingView, so maybe some of you are follow us on TradingView. And we had a very nice evening star formation in Eurodollar on a big, big resistance on 121. And there are some other very important signals um, which indicates falling prices in Eurodollar. And yeah, uh, this is only the result of my analysis, I think. <laughs> Sometimes it becomes true. Okay, nice. Ah, impressive. Um, let's look at the daily chart just for a second. So we see here there's still an upward trend overall, but um, we've seen the last couple of hours really strong downward pressure and we're below 119 now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and maybe last but not least, um, let's take a look at oil. Um, yeah, oil was moving um, heavily in the, the last few days uh, because of the the hurricane Irma. Um, some of the people were afraid that yeah maybe some oil companies and, and exploration um, were attacked by that or hit by that, but this was not the case and so softer, now all is softer over. damages than yeah. expected. Yes. Um, and yeah we we moved up to forty nine or maybe we are above this Right now, not sure. Uh, slightly ah, okay. right now. Um, with because our, I, I with our fun, fun account, we are now um, we have a thirty thousand dollar profit on our oil position. Wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's impressive, Sebastian. Again, a nice land. <laughs> yeah, but in our trading trading account, we are short in oil, and this is not a good uh, not a good move for our trading account. But yeah, we will see. Uh, we'll discuss this later with Matthias K. Maybe we have to close this position. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good risk management is always important. Okay, and um, now um, for the for the last part of our of our show, just an announcement. So tomorrow we will have a guest in our show, a cryptocurrency expert from the broker Exante. So um, basically, if you if you click onto the link that um, you can find here below the video. Um, you can see everything that Exante has to offer for cryptocurrency trading. Go to exante.eu slash p slash 5082 and basically Exante has a variety of cryptocurrencies and a cryptocurrency fund also that is fully diversified and you can invest through that and basically it's the best performing fund in history says Bloomberg and John Matonis, um, the, the former CEO of the Bitcoin Foundation says Exante is the king of Bitcoin funds. So yeah, check it out. Um, Exante is the proud sponsor of this show. And um, yeah, we look forward to having a guest from Exante tomorrow on the show. And if you have any questions that you would like to ask him on any of these here from Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Zcash, Monero, Ripple, just post it in the comments and we will discuss it during the show. Yep. Okay. Have a good one. Okay. Have a nice one. Bye. Bye.